everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate a spider plant. Um, there's three ways that I know of to propagate a spider plant and I've done it millions of times. Um, ever since I was a kid, my mom used to do it and I was always fascinated by it. Um, the first way is you can get like a bowl and like put a paper towel in it. I'll show you how to cut it and you can put the cuttings in there, keep the paper towel damp and then watch it grow roots that way. Once it grows roots, like I would say maybe about an inch, then it's ready for soil. Another way you can do it is you can take a little um, terracotta pot or a nursery pot, just a little one, put some soil in there and um, stick your finger in there, then put the cutting right in there. Watch it grow like that. Just make sure it's clean soil, not like dirty reused. The way that I like to do it because I'm nosy is I like to do it in water because I like to see the roots grow. I like to watch the roots grow. So I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, so I have little vases right here full of water. And um, hey, you guys, I'm, excuse me though. Um, this is one right here. And I don't know if you can see, this is like way past due for cutting. Okay, so they grow on this long, I think I should change this filter, huh? Does it make it kind of hard to see? I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this filter. I don't, can I do that when we're on the phone? Awesome, okay, good. I thought I had to restart it. Much better, okay. So as you can see, the little baby plants grow from like this little stem because I can't think of what it's called. And look at that, it's like way overdue. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your sanitized cutters. These are my indoor ones. Now since I only have one hand, let me put the lid on this butter real quick. Since I only have one hand, we're gonna it tricky okay I'm just gonna cut it right here okay now let me show you why you want to cut it because you can make more plants for free you give them away or sell them all right so every plant they have what's called little nodes um, Okay, I can see them right now. See those? Those are nodes. Those are where roots are going to grow. Okay? So yeah, this is long overdue for a cutting. It's begging to go into water. Those nodes, they're begging me. So and then you just leave your spider plant like that and then it will grow more. Um, okay, let me move this diffuser. And then we have one more to cut over there um, all right so what you want to do this is kind of a mess I'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can see what I'm doing and I'm still in my like workout clothes so don't judge okay So basically, you just want to put these nodes in water. I'm just thinking if I should separate this. I think I should. Just trying to not jack up the node. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right here. Okay. See all those nodes? They're kind of like clumped together. Those are what you put in the water. I'm going to take this, um, these little like, dead pieces off. It's like a clump of nodes. So this will be a cute little plant. Let's say you had someone over and you just wanted to give them a plant. You can also, like I said, just put it in dirt. But I like to see roots grow. I like to watch God's creation happen. Okay. So I kind of 
think I'll get rid of that one too. Okay, see all those notes? Okay, so I think this one will go good in, in this one. There you go. Cute, huh? I have a whole um, window ledge with propagations from all my plants. I'll, I'll show you. And you want to make sure that you check the water because the node is going to reach for the water in order to grow, okay? All right, so the next one. <sighs> See all those nodes? Node, node, node. Three nodes on the end of that, one node there. So that, my friend, I'm gonna cut off this little dead part. more water. So in the comments, I want you to put which way do you like to propagate? Which, oops, which way would you like to propagate? The water? Oh, look at that one. Little notes. The water? Soil? Or uh, on like a paper towel or you can do it in, in moss too. Moss or paper towel. But I'm old school. I've been doing this for years. I don't I don't do this back in the moss. I just but I hear a lot of people do. So I like to get um, input from other plant enthusiasts because you learn stuff. Alright so let me Turn the camera around so you can see all the propagations. So yeah, these are all propagations. This is a Tetrasperma raphidophora monstera. Um, that's just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing an experiment. That is a vine from a wandering Jew, which is a Tredscantia. Um, spider plant, spider plant, spider plant. That's a Birkin that I propagated. And then that is a uh, Bemosis, uh Moses, uh, cradle, Moses in the cradle. All right, let's go over here. I might need a stool. But you get the gist of what I'm doing, right? So for this, look at all the nodes on that. Oh my gosh. Can you see them all? There's a glob of nodes on that one. On that one. I love spider plants. On that one. That one, that one has a big old glob. So I will just cut, I'll show you. I will cut and then see where more wanna grow down the vine. More wanna grow there, more, more are going to grow there. So I'm going to cut as closely as I can. I'm gonna let that hang because I want more to grow. As closely as I can without Cutting too much. Cut right there. Oops. There's more want. See, I'm like more wants to grow, so I don't want to. Okay. Look at all the nodes on that. See them all? Those are where the roots are going to grow. I don't know if you've ever seen the roots on the spider plant, but they are really really crazy and they're big they're established so i'll go ahead and leave that hanging i want to have more growing i'm going to go ahead and cut this one see how this is kind of dying right here so i'm just going to go ahead and cut it right there and just give it a hand go 
give it a little hand. Usually I would catch it since I only have one hand available. Throw this away. Okay. Go ahead and do these ones. Those are kind of cute. I might leave those. Should I or should I not? That one definitely is begging mama for water. So, I'm just going to... This one I don't want to drop, because so I'm going to just let in the video right here, because I want to use my other hand to hold it. And then I'm going to also put this spider plant in a bigger pot, because you can tell it's thriving and it's not in a very big pot. So I'm going to give it some more um, space to grow, for the roots to expand. I'll also give it some... Um, worm castings which is super good um and just a good soil mix so that's it for this video i hope uh, that you learned something and that i inspired you i'll see you guys later bye